Lord. Uh, this is a reply to your video of, I think, uh, today. I just saw it. It's morning my time. Um, all right. Well, first of all, I'd like to say, you know, you keep saying this, like something like CERN or just could we say a big abstract instrument. Uh, you say it requires these efficiency systems. I, I don't know why you say that. Is because the cost, you don't think that mankind could build things that big unless we had these exploitative systems? Because I, I don't think so. You also, uh, so I'd like it to, you to demonstrate that, or at least say specifically, and you probably have said specifically, like from your point of view, but I'm not getting it because I don't see what is it building the rubber gaskets? Is it the magnets? What is it? I mean, the workers, the craftsmen would be, you know, the uh, tradesmen, you know, the electricians and welders and stuff. They, It's a good job. What is the problem? Getting the money in the first place? Now, you said um, a couple things that totally, I don't I, know. The military is not a subculture of physics. You seem, this has been a good conversation, and, and I'm... And I'm glad we can have it. And some of it, we are, like I said, we show the contrast of each other's sides. But things like that, I mean, you seem unaware of, of the culture of physics. For example, it's discoverable, the character and culture that was going on with Bohr and, uh, you know, Einstein, all of these people. I, you know, and a, Einstein was a pacifist. He was a major pacifist until he realized, being in Germany, what Hitler was doing. And he's like, we've got some science this guy could use to make a bomb. I better tell somebody else. And it was terrible, terrible. I mean, this guy traveled around being a famous pacifist. So life is complicated, right? But you see, you're... No, I, you know, also you said that there's a big boon of physics, that it's undeniable, the war machine, I, I deny that. First of all, obviously any economic decisions and hiring scientists to do certain kinds of engineering, right, they get hired out into industry and then they do applied stuff, applied physics, which is basically, you know, the missing link between physics and engineering. And, uh... And yeah, they're scientists, maybe they accomplish something scientific as well. I, that's not really science as, as I'm discussing it, where you're doing the research for its own sake. But yeah, it's, it's blurry. But that doesn't prove that they have stimulated it. No, 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 no. World War II fucked up science because it fucks up international relations. It is bad when we can't work with Chinese scientists. It does not help science. It hurts science. The destruction and the fact that the truth is the victim and if there's some important scientific discovery, people will lie about it because of war. No, I'm sorry. I do not grant war is good for science. You have some sort of misconception when you think that the military is a subset of... There's a military physics. Now, prove that to me. Because I think you, are, you should grant me more of this distinction between engineering and physics. I mean, scientists figured out the phenomena of the light bulb, and it was a hundred plus years till Edison, the engineer, comes along, who, by the way, was the guy willing to electrocute animals as just as a cells technique, and turns it into a light bulb. Rockets, the, that's Newtonian knowledge for building rockets. The research and development of the engineering-wise was not the science. The military used the scientists like Feynman, another moral life gets complicated sometimes, and hundreds of other scientists to create the atom bomb that had already been figured out, the science of it, you know, starting 40 years earlier. Um, you should allow me that distinction. When you keep talking about uh, scientists giving out Adderall, well, first of all, that's like the engineering side of it. They're applying that. But... I've said many times, I want to use physics, because physics is ethically complicated enough since so much physics has been used to make high-tech weaponry, you know, E equals MC squared.
squared F equals MA. But no, I don't think you, that that boon in science you're talking about, I don't think there has been one. We're getting scientifically stupider. It goes on in this machine, in this technological machine. But no, I think this age of war, this century of war, screwed science up. One of the biggest boons you ever had was in Newton's time when people were doing it because it's they got in into knowing things about nature a big group of people a big bunch of hobbies in that community and there was a boon if we didn't have war and it was popular to play with you know teeter-totter physics toys and everybody wanted you know 30 percent of the little girls and boys wanted to learn that kind of stuff is their area of extra interest there'd be a much bigger boon and wars in the way of that because those same little kids are out there playing with guns <laughs> so you got it totally backwards and you need to look more I think at the history of science and natural philosophy it comes through natural philosophy to physics and as and then people saw the methodology of physics they claimed and to a certain degree try to apply that elsewhere but that's thousands of years of history there you don't get to go, oh, and then we got a hold of it and we used it as an excuse to kill animals. Well, I know people that use the excuse of Christ's message of love to kill people, so there's no explaining people. I don't grant these associations, and especially even just uh, if it's a semantic matter, I think you need to grant the difference between rocket and F equals MA, the difference between the atom bomb and E equals MC squared, and figure out what the problem's coming in, because if you want to say things like CERN can't, so it's fine to get knowledge, there's nothing, it doesn't kill any bunny rabbits to operate, but it requires this other terrible stuff, well, if just focus on the other terrible stuff, and when we get rid of that, I'm not going to be sitting here going, hey, we need to save that because science is worth it. And guess what? Science will flourish. Those jerk-offs are anti-science. They're not into knowing things. They think they already know in their book and their books and their rules and their old wives' tales. Tell them all they want to know. They are holding back science and those are the warmongers. People that are actually interested in science, and maybe you should Try go to somewhere we can meet a lot more scientists, physicists, and see how they think about nature. They don't have time to make a weapon with it. They're trying to make a meter and an oscilloscope and see these invisible things that really are all around us, like photons and stuff. I, re I am enjoying this. It's a little bit, I, d I wrote in a lot of caps in your thing, but just because of this stuff of uh, this, this, uh, I would like to see the physics research of the military, and I think you're going to show me, look, a new radar system. No, no, I'm talking about discovering radar. I'm talking about the kinds of things the Bohr discovered. I'm talking about Fermi and, and those, the scientists, Feynman wasn't, you know, and, and, and then, and I'm giving you this too, because I'm not, it's not a pat answer. Feynman went and helped build the bomb, he regretted it. And they played him for a fool a little bit, and he had something to say about that. But instead of going, wow, in science we have people that, yeah, they get wrapped up in that, and then they tell us, we're just like, Dude. you know, I mean, Einstein was a pacifist then, was actually drawn to the point of pointing out the significant danger of things that could be made with his theories to his country's enemy, I mean, because the international connections, I, Einstein didn't, well, didn't think of himself German, Swiss, or these in, in a lot of ways, it's international community, there were a lot of bonds, when the war started, this was a problem for scientists, and Einstein cooperated with the British guy to help demonstrate relativity uh, around World War One's time, reestablished bond because they're like we just talking about something interesting we don't really want to take time for war and you're saying the opposite so I thought it was worth showing some but I don't want to let it get too much that way um, 
But I don't want to ignore, I mean, some of these things, and I know some of the things I'm saying you take wrong. Let me just point out, because I used pictures of a strip mine, let me just be really clear. I think a strip mine is an abomination. It shouldn't be any more legal than, than slavery. <coughs> and I think it's scientifically provable exactly that is a net negative for humankind. So... I don't know how you want to argue that we have to heal the earth and stuff if we don't follow a scientific uh, path where we get to prove that something is a harm.